I am happy to say my basic needs are met during this pandemic, but what do you say to someone who is facing great loss during this time and whose livelihood or health is threatened? Yeah, that's a, that's a really important thing, and I'm glad that it, you addressed this, um, that when this question is asked, it's so important to, to have an answer to it this time. I say to the people who are in the midst of the challenges of this right now, that you are getting yourself to be miracle ready, that you are ready to receive more, not just now because the situation is like this, but to receive more, not from the outside world where the income might have come from, or where the safety and security might have come from, or the health and well-being might have seemed like it was coming from you're now being redirected to be able to be in this space where you're receiving all of your comfort and your safety and security and meaning your guidance from the divine. So no matter who is helping you in the outer world or who's not helping you in the outer world, you wanna to begin to default to expecting that your answers and your healing and your health and your well-being and your wholeness is coming from the divine that you have not been dropped. What this is going to do is annihilate your ego. And it's a hard way to have your ego annihilated. But the ego is going to tell you all the time that you've been dropped and you're not enough and you're not worthy. Those are the primary um, statements that an, uh, an ego will tell you when you're in the midst of challenge and pain, that you've been dropped, that there's no hope, that you're, no, you're not good enough, and that this is not going to get any better. It's the I'm not statements. If you start hearing them, the first thing you want to do is begin to be um, a little bit like a, a Pollyanna in your approach and that you could be anticipating the things that are not apparent to you. You're looking on the sunny side. You're looking for the things that are, that you're opening your heart and opening the door wide to receive now. Because most all problems we ever have on planet Earth are because of our lack of receptivity. We are not receptive to the divine. We don't think we have this divine antenna that we do to connect at any time, to hear the voice of the divine, to hear the voice of our own best interest, to tell us where to go, what to do, and what to say to whom, to get us out of any situation. We don't cultivate that capacity, so we think we don't have it. It's us dropping this connectivity reorient yourself. If it's not coming from the outside world, it's because right now you're having an advancement, a spiritual advancement. You're riding the top of the tsunami instead of being crushed by it. Let yourself rise, go vertical instead of horizontal. Begin to breathe in and relax and go deep. And immediately you, you are never left comfortless. So if you surrender in any moment vertically to the divine, you are going to get some source of comfort. It might be that the phone rings immediately and you get that message that you've been waiting for that has an answer for you temporarily. But you'll be more aware and cognizant that even if the answer looks like it's coming from the outside world, that the divine has orchestrated it. So you begin to default by going to the divinity of you and saying, even if it's just a simple prayer like help, help me now, I'm open to receive I receive now willingly. I'm open to the best. I expect the best and the very best always comes to me. This is what I mean by getting a little bit like Pollyanna. For some people they would say, I can't do that. It's too bad. It's take your eyes off the outside world, put them on the inside world. I am a cherished child of the divine. I am loved impeccably. I've never been dropped. I'm here in the light of the divine right now. As I speak, I expect and I anticipate all good things to come to me now. For any challenge I'm experiencing for myself or any loved ones, I receive now gratefully. I am in, of, and through the light of the divine. I allow for this light to shine away any challenges right now. I allow for my mind to go blank. I allow for my heart to open. I allow for myself just to be filled with the light. I don't need the world of this and that right now. In this very moment, I'm fine. In this very moment, I am perfection. In this very moment, I have cherished. And in this very moment, I am loved. Just feel that now. Feel how that heals. Feel how that connects. And just breathe it in. 
Remember, you came here with your first breath, you'll leave with your last. The soul of you is inherent in your breath. You've never been dropped. Just let your body be cared for by the divine of you, by the soul of you. Breathe deep, breathe deep in the grace of the divine. Again, it's not our first natural inclination a lot of times, unless we've been cultivating this in times that weren't as challenging. But I do have to say, this is a wake up, so it makes it much more easy sometimes when you're in the midst of those challenges to grab on to this lifeline of the divine when normally you'd say, ah, you know, let me just fix this or change this or micromanage this and then it'll go away. Now that might not be the opportunity that you have, you really truly are getting the lesson that the divine is real, the divine loves you impeccably. Why would you go to the outside world for an answer when the divine has everything you could possibly need and it's in and of and through you right now? Okay, just hang in there for anybody who's experiencing that, who's listening to this and, and in the future, if anybody hears this, that could use that little bit of a, a kick into, the, into your own realization again, just that little push into the place where you click in again and say, that's right, I've never been dropped, I'm divine, I'm cherished, I'm loved. Help me, heal me now. I wanna see the truth of me in this moment and receive now gratefully.